Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Bill McKenna. Hey, it's Wrestling Hero Figs. Happy belated birthday, Bill. Now, some of you may not know Bill. If you don't, I'm gonna fill you in right now. He is the man, he's the guy behind it all. The reason why I'm filming this, the reason why we're getting epic figures from Mattel, this guy right here, man, it was his birthday yesterday. Go wish him a happy birthday. He built a, or he just up, uh, put up an Instagram account about a month ago, and he's also on Twitter. Um, he was there, he was there at Stockton, and this is the con, uh, the toy con that we're gonna go over. They showed some great figures there, you guys. He was doing some autograph signings. He also had those shirts, man. Make Bill sweat. <laughs> I'm still picking one of those up, man. Um, but let me get right into it. For some reason, he was up on the roof earlier that day. He was teasing us. Bill, you're always teasing us, man. Why you gotta do that to us? On the back right here, he had a, uh, hey, Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Eventually, he brought it out on the actual toy floor itself. And this right here, this retro fest, fire, fuck, fuck, fuck. Fire! Love this man. <laughs> this is the figure that should be coming after. Um, what is it? The Honky Tonk Man. This is uh, GameStop exclusive. The packaging on these. I, I know you guys are already seen images, and if you don't, you guys got to go check it out, dude. It's epic. They got like this whole video game arcade style. Um, we'll get more into it once we actually get mock images. But this is the loose image of the actual product that we're getting, dude. Best head scan ever, right here. <laughs> oh man, like that look right there. That Bill. He's he's doing it. He's doing it right there. He's oh. <laughs> He's got the two by four. He's got the hacksaw Jim Duggan shirt and he's got the crown with the red white and blue Knee pads. Oh man love this so hype. If you're enjoying this wait until I show you uh, what's uh, li a little bit later on in the video All right here. We're getting another Rollins another Seth freaking Rollins now I'm looking about 10 years into the future right now you guys Rollins is gonna be that guy He's gonna be that that guy that's very similar to Cena where we're getting a Rollins and every other elite line every other basic line You know what? I'm all right with that man. This guy he truly is an architect and this figure. Oh my gosh First time that we're seeing this head scan. This is this head scan right here as you can see right by the um, I know it's kind of dark the shading the image of it when they took the picture It's kind of dark, but you can pick up what's going on dude with that beard dude That that's the more that's the most full beard that I've ever seen on Seth Rollins such an epic figure the attire right here It is uh, what he's currently wearing right now. So on the sides right now. It's kind of, it's kind of more like a dark gray it's so cool, and I believe I could be wrong, but that belt right there it is looking sculpted really nice to see that they're finally doing that with Rollins. They are also including uh, two belts IC title and as well as the tag team titles. I don't know if this is an early prediction. Hint, hint, this is going down tomorrow at SummerSlam. <laughs> I hope so, man. Of course, then they would have to also beat the B team, it would be him and Ambrose. But this, yeah, really excited to see this Rollins. Um, not confirmed exactly as to what elite line, but most likely we should see this here late. 2018 also they had the undisputed era we did see these at comic-con but ringside they posted this image yesterday my gosh <laughs> i fell in love all over again i forgot what love was until i saw these <laughs> oh man love these these head scans you guys they're on point I, but i gotta say i have to say that adam cole standing out the most out of all three i mean they're all looks out they're all like 110 percent solid accurate right there with all the expressions but those eyes man look at those Adam Cole eyes. How'd they do it? <laughs> That's so sick. Love this. These clear images that they had on there, you guys. Go check it out, man. Love all three of them. Um, really no accessories with these. We're just going to get the shirts, but it makes sense. You know, you're getting three figures, $50. Can't go wrong with that. That's a pretty good deal. Plus, you're getting all three first time in the line. Also, they uh, they did have Killian Dane with the mask on. And if you're enjoying this, wait until I show you a couple more pictures down. This is the first time we've seen him with the actual mask. I think it looks amazing. They really just... Oh, I love this Killian Day. So excited to get this. So excited to complete the rest of the gang, dude. Also, this Triple H, I was highly actually considering making this custom when we got that WWE Fan Central. The rarity of it, though, was just way too high. Really didn't want to tap into, you know, some fig or a figure that it just, yeah, I, <laughs> I didn't want to paint it. So, Mattel, it's not that I didn't want to paint it. It's just, it's just it costs a lot to paint the figure and just to make a custom out of it when Mattel's already putting it out. Thank you. This is this purple right here. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, so happy to see this Triple H that we're going to be getting it. Of course, same head scan as the fan, uh, fan Central. Ruby Wright, they also had her too. They had some close-up images of her, of all the detail, of the thigh tattoo, of the arm tattoos, the head scan. Look, I'm not holding this figure in my hand right now, but this is easily getting a Hero Figs rating of over 10. No doubt in my mind. This, this should be part of the NXT TakeOver line. And yeah, 
oh yeah, this, this man right here. Why didn't we get you 10? Why didn't we get you five? Why didn't we get this when Mattel first started putting out these figures? This Bob Backlund figure is just on a different scale. Like, look, I get it. And now it's starting to make sense why they didn't make this figure when Mattel started, you know, when they took over Jax. They wanted to make sure they had it right. They had nothing but time. And then and they probably also didn't have a lot, Legends contract. You know what, dude? First time in the line right here, I'm glad that they included everything. I mean, it really wouldn't feel complete with the actual entrance attire. That Damien Sandow style of like shower. It's not a shower uh, bathrobe, but it is very similar to one. And I don't know if it's the exact same one that Damien Sandow used, but it's pretty damn close. <laughs> Such an awesome figure. It also comes with the towel. I mean, his overall actual in-ring attire is pretty bland and simple. So again, it would have just it would have just been a, a figure that would have not stood out on the shelf had it not come with the right stuff. Also. These ones right here, again, they also had them at San Diego, but they didn't have them with these masks on. And seeing them with the masks, these reptilian style, like, AOP. And that's kind of what comes to mind, you guys. I mean, that's kind of, it's, it's like a very Mortal Kombat inspired. Um, I can't remember. I think it was Cyrax. We're not talking about Mortal Kombat. We're talking about WWE figures. But I think this is actually how I'm going to display them on the actual shelf themselves. I got to have them with the masks on. You guys know I love my luchadors. So seeing these. And again, these are actually up at Ringside Collectibles. Discount code here. I will save you 10% at checkout. Get such a stacked lineup. Elite Series 62, 63. Everything that's coming out here soon, you guys. Oh man, I'm loving it all. Also, uh, this this Ultimate Warrior right here, this is part of the Slam Stars. If you're not familiar with it. Most of these figures, they are uh, exclusive. Well, they're not exclusive, but that's usually how you get them is through the Slam Crate. This Ultimate Warrior was one that was shown. So really excited to see all this stuff come out, you guys. Especially that Rollins. I know I always hype about my Rollins, but that's the GOAT, man. Well, one of the GOATs for sure. At least, you know, in Hero Fakes book. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And we'll see you on the next one.